Nadim Zahawi, the Conservative Party chairman, fallen from grace for not paying his taxes. He received accolades as vaccine minister during the pandemic and even ran for prime minister last year. His downfall began after it emerged he settled nearly a $6 million dispute with the UK's tax collector, HMRC, during his time as chancellor last summer. An inquiry ordered by Prime Minister Rishi Sunak found Zahawi had breached the ministerial code. Zahawi is out, but now the focus has shifted to the Prime Minister himself. This week, he'll be facing tough questions in the building behind me about how much he knew about Mr. Zahawi's tax affairs and when. Zahawi's sacking has also acted as a reminder about Rishi Sunak's reinstatement of Swayla Braverman as Home Secretary last year, after she resigned for breaching the ministerial code by sending a sensitive official document from her personal email account. Sunak has said he wanted to have a government of integrity, essentially, and it sends the wrong signals in that sense too. We therefore see a government which is drifting and failing to achieve some of its own specific targets. And that's got to be a worry for the Prime Minister and indeed for their election chances. Speaking of Boris Johnson, he's been named by his supporters as a potential candidate to replace Nadim Zahawi. He's seen as a vote magnet, but he's also a trouble magnet. Most recently, we've seen these questions being asked about the chair of the BBC helping him out with a loan. Nothing has been said about law-breaking, but with all of the other problems the Conservatives have, do they really want to risk Boris Johnson in a position where he could bring more intrigue, let's say? That, in addition to a parliamentary inquiry into whether Boris Johnson misled the House of Commons over Partygate, locked down rule-breaking drinking sessions during the pandemic, and an investigation into numerous complaints of bullying by Deputy Prime Minister Dominic Raab. Nadim Zahawi will be remembered as the minister who played fast and loose with the rules and became the first one to be dismissed by the prime minister. But no one's sure if he will be the last. Saeed Pura Press TV, London.